pretty stormy out there. It's a few days after the full moon and outgoing tide starts about four in the morning. We'll check the weather in the morning. Chances are it's gonna continue to rain like this, but we'll probably still get out there and give it a try. Thanks for checking out the video. I've got flyingfishtv.com up from there. If you'd like to support the production or creation of these videos, you can purchase a decal, free shipping within the United States. I've got discount codes if you purchase more than one decal, and then a striped marlin, sailfish, tiger shark, wahoo, and a yellowfin tuna. And in this video, I'll be doing a giveaway of any decal that you want to be entered in the giveaway. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, like the video, and then leave a comment down below. And then one week from now, I'll randomly choose the winner and then announce that over on Instagram. marking a big school of something on the bottom. Stuff that I would not normally drop my doll machine into, but I got this heavy one tied on. <laughs> got one something on. There's a blacktail snapper. It's called a toa owl. In Hawaiian. Nice. Pretty small ones, but really good. Really, really good. Way did you copy that? Yeah, I got you. I'm coming to you. Um, you're at about 80 feet, right? Yeah, 80, 86 feet. Oh yeah, got a bunch. Damn. Oh, I'll just break my whole Damashi off? What? Alright, finally after that fiasco, they ripped my Opilu Damashi, and then they ripped this other heavy Damashi in half, so I tied on a new Damashi for catching Opilu. It's the last one I've got, so I don't want to fuck that up. Uh, but I tied on a vertical jig onto this one, and maybe I can jig up one of these GT. Wade caught up to me. So, um, right here I am, marking them right now. I'm marking them right now, Wade, 100 feet.
Maybe not. <laughs> I hooked something that I was not supposed to there. It felt like I had like a papillo or something on. Uh, Are you marking all this stuff? Um, I'm not marking anything yet. Well, I think we figured out what the mystery of what was screwing up my Dom uh, because Wade dropped his all the way to the bottom and caught a Heller's Barracuda. So that was what was cutting in my, cutting my Dom uh, And I dropped again on that. I hooked into something. It was just kind of heavy, uh, but then it came off, thankfully. It might have been something just holding onto the weight that I have on my Dom but I'm going to be really careful with that for now. I'm going to move away from this spot. There's still so many marks. Um, but I'm going to circle back and try and mark the bait that I had initially. Otherwise, I'll head out to a little bit deeper water and try and try and find bait again. I'm marking an opaler right now. Down at 75 to 100. I'm just hoping that it, oh, that it actually is Opelu. Feels a lot more like it. I'm marking a lot right now. If I can get these in before something tries to eat them. You're in big trouble though, pal. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. <laughs> you eat pieces of shit for breakfast? But I'm out in uh, almost 200 feet now, so we'll just kind of take it easy, slow troll around here, hopefully pick something up. Um, I could head either direction here, but I'm at least going to give it a little bit here with the first bait. Naturally, I didn't have the camera on but the bait got really nervous. And then I looked back and I saw a wahoo fly about seven or eight feet out of the water. It was crazy. That's the only time I've ever seen a wahoo come out of the water, but I threw on this wire rig really fast. Marking something. Wade just thinks his bait got hit. I'm right on the edge of this kind of a slick here. So I just wanted to bring my bait in close and reset it. I've been getting some good marks at like 50 to 75 feet. Two hours later. dropping down that dead bait and I saw some marks. 
So I reeled my bait up into it and kind of jigged it. And whatever this is came up and grabbed it. I'm at 138 feet. On wire. You know, loosen up just a tiny bit. Looks like a tuna. Kava Kava. That was pretty nuts. Man, he's bleeding a lot. Yeah, he's done for. I just caught a kava kava on that dead bait, dropping it down. He's bleeding like crazy though, so I guess I'm gonna have to keep him. Bird is trying to shit on me. Do you want to go to war, Malaki? No. Because we could go to war. I can see we're flying over here right now. Yeah, it's the same kind. Maybe the same bird. <laughs> ah, he's coming again. You son of a. Up 183 on wire. We got head shakes, kind of like a GT. My snacks out. Hope I don't take a wave over. Get my pretzels all wet. I think this is a GT or an Amberjack. Thank you. 
see it coming off the bottom now. I'm in 222. <laughs> Whatever this is is down at 200, or actually like 175. Man, it's not small. That's for sure. Big head shakes. And this is more like an amberjack. Just like slowly dragging this thing off the bottom. It's not fighting as much. Usually these fish fart, fight really hard at the bottom. And then as they get towards the surface, then they just kind of roll over. Also a ton of air inside these. So when I do get it coming in a little bit better, I'm not gonna race it to the surface just because I want it to shoot out some of the air. Like it's coming up pretty easy now. What do you guys think this is? Shark, Amberjack, or GT? I'm leaning towards an Amberjack at this point. A big old reef donkey. Just because GT usually fight and pull drag more. But we'll see. Either a GT or an Amberjack, I would think. See it down there. Oh, that looks like an a GT. English motherfucker, do you speak it? <laughs> An a lure. You can see he's pooping out his air. And that's what I want him to do, so he'll be able to swim back down. Try and revive them a little bit more. It's been a couple minutes. I've been taking pictures, having them out of the water for 30 seconds or so. He's definitely lively. Um, but we're gonna try to toss him in. If and if he floats, I got a big old 16 ounce weight that I use for deep dropping. I'm gonna stick in his mouth. All right. Here we go, buddy. Thanks for playing. See you next time. Pretty cool to catch that GT or the uh, the Alua. 
I thought it was way bigger than it was fighting. The, the one I caught last week, it was probably 30 something pounds. This one more around like 25 pounds. I swear this one fought almost harder. I did think it was a, an amber jacket during the fight, but it turned out to be an Alua or the GT. They both have really big, uh, big head shakes. I even thought at the beginning it might have been a small shark. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? Oh, what do you want? These birds have been circling us for the last like 30 minutes ago, or 30 minutes or so. One of them we recognize from another trip, at least the same type of bird, but for whatever reason it tries to shit on us. And then there was another one I think it, it was like a, a breeding pair, but the other one wanted to eat my Domashi. Did the same thing to Wade over there too. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the like button. It helps the channel grow. Please, sir. I want some more.